G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. Today I am going to show you the easiest way of multiplying any two numbers together. It is going to have you fanning and looking at it thinking, why do they not teach this in schools? It is that easy. So let's have a look at this example right here. 342 multiplied by 23. Now the way that we're going to multiply these two numbers together is we are going to draw up a box. Now the size of this box is going to be determined by looking at the numbers we are multiplying. 342 has three digits. 23 has two digits, so we're going to draw up a three by two box. So let's do that. Uh, so we start there, it's going to be a rectangular box, and it has three going across, 342, and two going up and down, which is 23. The other thing we're going to use is some diagonal lines running from the top right down towards the bottom left. They look like this. So for each box, you're going to draw in these diagonal lines. Pretty simple so far, right? Now we just go through and start multiplying. Starting in the top left up here, we have two multiplied by three, which is six. Now we have this entire box to put this in here. So we're gonna put in the tens and the units part. So for six, it's zero tens and six units. Cool, let's continue. Uh, four times two, which is equal to eight, we're gonna put in a zero eight. We have two times two, which is four, we're gonna put that in a zero four. Now moving down to the bottom, row here, we have 3 times 3, which is 9, that's going to go in a 0, 9. We have 3 times 4, which is equal to 12. That's 1 and 2. And then 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. So we've done all the multiplication we need to now. Now we're just going to do some addition and get our final answer. So starting at the bottom right here, we're going to add diagonally. So we have our 6 here. No, it's just by itself. The units is a 6. Now, moving along to the next diagonal, we have 4 plus 2, which is equal to 6 also. Moving across to the next diagonal, we have 8 plus 1 plus 9, which is equal to 18. So we put the 8 down, and we carry the 1. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add this diagonal, including this one here. So 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. And then finally, in the top left here, we have 0. So we don't need to write anything there. We have our final answer. 342 multiplied by 23 is 7,866. How is that right? The easiest way of multiplying any two numbers together. Really, you're not going to get in any uh, bad trouble doing that, and you can keep everything together really well, right? If you like this trick, please hit the like button and leave me a comment telling me what you think. But what about I give an example that you can now do? Yeah? So what about you try 632 multiplied by 71? Now. As you can see, 632 has three digits and 71 has two digits. Once again, you're going to draw up a three by two box. Yeah, give it a go. All right, so let's draw up that box. Uh, we have three going across this way and two going across this way. It is 632 multiplied by 71. We'll put those diagonals in there, going from the right down to the bottom left. And there we go, we're ready to multiply. So, starting at the top left here, we have seven sixes, a 42. So that's going to go in as a four and a two. We have seven threes, a 21. We have seven twos, a 14. Going down the bottom row here, we have one times six, which is six. We have one times three, which is three. We have one times two, which is two. This is really simple, right? Let's go through and do our addition now, starting at the right over here. We have a two for the units. We have four plus three, which is seven. We have one plus one plus zero plus six, that's gonna be eight. Uh, next, we have two plus two plus zero, that's going to be four. And then in the very top left up here, we also have another four. There you go, 632 multiplied by 71, we have our answer, 44,872. Did you get that answer? If you did, give yourself a big thumbs up and leave a comment telling me how you went, right? If you did, I think you probably went okay. So let's have a look at one final example. We'll make this harder. So let's get you to do 419 multiplied by 305. All right, how big is this box gonna be? Well, you work that out. You get your answer and then come back and see how you went, right? You gonna do that? Yeah, do it, be brave. All right, this is gonna be a box which is gonna be three by three. All right, 419 is three digits long, 305 is three digits long. So a three by three box, it's gonna be a nice square box, right? So let's draw that in. Okay, three by three. Ah, oh, yeah. How many of you have messed up your boxes as you're going along? Yeah, yeah, it happens to me too. If 
put the diagonals going in as well now, and then we can go through and put in the numbers that we're multiplying, 419 multiplied by 305. Hey, let's get multiplying. So we have uh, four times three, which is 12. We have three times one, which is three. We have three times nine, which is 27. So now moving down to the next row, we have zero times four. Now that is going to be zero. So we're gonna put that in as zero, zero. Zero times one, that's zero. So zero, zero. Zero times nine, that is also zero. Moving down to the bottom row. Four times five is 20. Five times one is five. And finally, we have nine times five, which is 45. Let's get to our adding here. So five is gonna be our units. Four plus five is going to be nine. We have zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus seven. That's gonna be seven. We have two, a bunch of zeros, three and two. That's going to also be seven. We have zero plus zero plus two, that's going to be two. And then finally in the top left up here, we have a one. 419 times 305 is equal to 127,795. So there you have it, the easiest way of multiplying any two numbers together using this box method. It's really cool because you can really keep what you're doing together really nicely. You know exactly what you're doing as you go along. Tell me what you think in the comments. You wish to support the Tech Math channel? Well, first off, give me a big thumbs up, maybe leave a comment. And if you really wish to support the Tech Math channel, well, I'm going to give a big shout out to my patrons right now who do support me uh, in that patrony sort of way. There is a link in the description below. It's really well appreciated. Anyway, we'll see you next time and thank you for watching.